Hey there, I'm happy to share today a new firmware update for Nautilus, our subnautical delay network. Nautilus version 1.2.0 includes some awesome new features including control over the mix curve, new delay and feedback behaviors, a reverb, and more. If you didn't know already, we've been workshopping this firmware update on our Discord and have received a lot of feedback from the community through beta versions of the firmware. If you're interested in trying out beta firmware for our modules, community-made firmware for Aurora, or experimental one-off firmware for our DAISY-based modules, make sure to join the Discord and get plugged in with the community. Okay, first things first, let's update our Nautilus. You can find the page to download the update in the description below. All you have to do is download the bin file and place it on the USB drive. Make sure it's the only bin file on the drive so Nautilus isn't confused on which file to update with. Eject the drive from your computer, place it into Nautilus, and reboot. Nautilus will automatically update the firmware. Now that we're updated, let's check out the new features. Nautilus now has an onboard reverb that is applied to the dry and wet signals. Hold the tap button and turn the resolution knob to increase the reverb mix and decay length. Depending on your input signal, the very far end of this range can flip, so be careful. We also have two new behaviors available while holding the tap button. The first being the new free running delay mode. Hold tap and press the delay mode button to set Nautilus to free running delay mode. You will know you've activated the mode if the delay mode LED is green. In this mode, Nautilus acts as an unclocked delay for all delay modes. Now the resolution knob smoothly transitions the delay time as opposed to clock syncing the delay. We also added a new feedback behavior to Nautilus. Holding tap and pressing the feedback mode button will activate summed mono mode. In this mode, the left and right input channels are summed to mono before entering the delay lines. This keeps your dry signal mono while the delay lines remain stereo. This mode is perfect for setting up an effects pedal style ping pong delay, where the delay bounces between the stereo channels while the inputted signal remains at the center. And just like on our more recent modules, Nautilus now has an LED dimmer control. Hold the tap button and turn the chroma knob to adjust the LED brightness from off to 100% max brightness. On top of the new tap accessible features, we've added some new settings you can access from Narwhal. First up is mix mode, which selects the mix curve between the dry and wet signals. The default is linear, but you can change the curve to constant power, transition, or wet amount. There's also a new continuous purge option. When active, Nautilus will continuously purge the delay lines of audio until either the purge button is released or the purge gate signal goes low. This is a fun performative setting that lets you remove and reintroduce the delays in a more organic manner. Along with the onboard reverb, the Arwal also has a couple reverb timbre settings available to swap out. You can adjust the reverb dampening between three options. Normal, which is what we're hearing now. Bright. and dark. And lastly, Narwhal allows us to customize our Nautilus LED colors. Each color has its own card on Narwhal, with controls to select what the new color will be. Match the aesthetic of your rack, or set the colors to be colorblind friendly. The choice is yours. I like to set my Nautilus to light, cotton candy style coloring, but you can set your Nautilus's colors to whatever you like. 
And that is the latest in our update for Nautilus. This module is an absolute fan favorite, and we are excited to provide more features and polishing to our underwater delay network. Make sure to join the Discord to chat with our team and other users about the update. And make sure to subscribe to the channel to get updates when new videos about our modules come out. Have fun with 1.2.0 and happy patching.